Oh my god, we have a huge Married at First Sight spoiler between Brandon and Taylor. So if you don't want to know this spoiler, please skip this video. This video isn't for you. I don't want you to get mad at me. Do not watch this video. But for those of you that want to know this unbelievable spoiler I just found out, let's jump right into it. On January 2nd, Brandon filed for an annulment to end his marriage with Taylor. Oh my God, I can't believe it. We just saw them get married, but People Magazine and a ton of other reputable sources have come out and said that this is very true. We have found their annulment because it is public record and Brandon actually filed for this annulment before the show even ended. And it sounds like Brandon is the first person ever to go on Married at First Sight and to file an annulment and to publicly get a divorce before the season even came to an end. Oh my God, so that is a spoiler, completely crazy. I can't believe it. I thought Brandon and Taylor were going to make it and they were gonna just live happily ever after and be great together. I thought the only chance that they wouldn't make it was if honestly, if Taylor didn't like Brandon, but it sounds like it was flipped and Brandon just didn't like Taylor. So I am just shocked. I am everything you can even imagine. I can't believe it. And put in the comments below what you think. I am just taken for awe. Can't believe it. And as I'm sure everyone else knows, Married at First Sight was on last night, and briefly I can go over what happened. We had two couples that got married, starting off with Zach and Mindy, this couple right there. Briefly, they're cute, they're fun, I think they have a 50-50 chance of making it. Mindy seems to really like him, and Zach seems to be holding his own. He's a very confident, very good looking guy. I think they have a decent chance of staying together. We didn't see them interact much, but they definitely had a good amount of chemistry and a good amount of synergy, and they weren't very awkward at all. And then we saw Mika and Michael, and it was pretty much the exact same thing. Not much awkwardness. They were flowing pretty well. Th there was a little bit of awkwardness, though. Mika's 25, Michael's 31. The age gap could be a concern. But all in all, we didn't see the couples actually interact much. We just saw mostly like the couples talking to the other people's families and that kind of stuff. But all in all, I think they seem another 50-50 a couple. Your guess is as good as mine because, hey, I thought Brandon and Taylor were going to shoot for the stars and live happily ever after together. And guess what? I was completely, totally, absolutely wrong. And hey, while I got you guys here, a couple videos ago, I mentioned that I made this 90 Day Fiance Darcy mug. It's cute, it's fun, and I got such an overwhelmingly crazy response that so many of you guys wanted one. I decided, hey, it'd be a great way to support and grow this channel to make a little merch store. So I decided I am going to start selling these Darcy mugs, and I designed a couple more of them. One for Angela, one for Ziad, one for Danielle, and a couple other. And I couldn't believe it, but a couple of you guys too said you wanted a coffee mug with me on it, which is just mind boggling and hilarious and awesome. So I also have some merch and coffee mugs with me on it, which sounds weird to say. But if you wanna support my channel and you want hilarious merch like this Darcy mug and the Angela and Ziad and Danielle ones too. I would greatly appreciate it if you clicked below and you can get a coffee mug and there's some other merch too on there, a sweatshirt and some other stuff too, phone cases. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. It would support this channel and it lets me spend more time making these amazing videos and connecting with you guys, which I love doing so, so, so much. So if you're interested, Click the link below, I'll put one in the description, I'll put one in the comments. The website's just thecelebtalkguyshop.com. I would greatly appreciate it. It's fun, they're cute, they're affordable, and it just supports this channel and supports me so, so, so much. So if you're interested, click the link below. Thank you so much for watching this video, and please stay tuned for many, many more.